greatest show I had ever done on live television to this day was uh, the wedding of Charles and Diana. That was not the thing that I did, but we had Steve doing this. We had a position right at the Canada Gate looking at Buckingham Palace. Nobody else had that position that we did. We had aggressive producers, so we had Richard Burton on, and we had everybody that we wanted that came on. Wanted, and after two days, they all wanted to be on the Today Show because it was such a hot ticket at that point. And uh, I must say, I had a great time, you know, because it was a no-brainer. You know, just let the picture tell the story. And, and Charles and Diana were, I, I was having dinner every night with some women who were friends of friends of mine from here, and they were plugged in to the circle. And the other thing that we did is that we found this woman who we thought uh, might be able to happen help us some, and it was Tina Brown. She was doing the tablet at the time. And she often tells a story. We had dinner, we got along well, and the next day, right before we went on the air, I said to her, not to worry about anything, it'd be the largest television audience in the history of morning television. Oh my God. And then she said, moments later, Diana appeared, and you were describing her, and then you said, my God, Look at those feet. They're as large as gunboats her shoes are. She said, I knew then I could say anything that I wanted to. So we just rocked and rolled for an entire four or five days. And it was joyous. You know, we got off the air. We were on the air midday because of the time difference. Got off the air in time to go to parties and go to dinner at night. And I would go with these women who were the, uh, not courtesans, but they were the great observers of what was going on. They had all this inside stuff. And they immediately said to me, It'll never work. It's an arranged marriage. Charles has got a girlfriend. You know, it's not gonna. It's not gonna work. I mean, that was the first kind of inkling I had of that. And then Burton called. I didn't know him, but he wanted to be on the air with me because he'd been. I've been watching you. Know, I want to be a part of this. Michael Kane called. And he said, "How do I get in on this?" And, and Carrie Detanawa, right? Yeah. And the big, big uh, performance at the wedding itself and I had said to her if you can come and be we'll put you on the air and she arrived with this enormous hat and she was being handed by the crowd she was absolutely horizontal handed by the crowd one over the other and is deposited on the stage and she was glorious I've seen her once since then which was like 15 years later and I walked into her dressing room unexpectedly she was doing something at NBC she said oh Thomas I said, the time of my life. We both have the same great memory of it. 